Hello, my name is Bethany, and I would love to share with you how God has been working in my life. I became a follower of Jesus, believing in Jesus' perfect life, death, and resurrection at a very young age. But I really didn't pursue a deeper relationship with Him until I was 12 years old. At this time, I underwent some medical testing and ended up being diagnosed with a brain tumor. This news shook my world. It was the first time that something happened in life that was entirely out of my control and out of my parents' control. And I was really faced with two choices, whether I was going to run to God or want to run away from Him. Thankfully, I chose to run to Him, and I started digging into God's Word, reading the Bible as much as I could, praying, pouring out my heart to God, sharing my fears and um, everything I was going through with Him. This time really built my trust and faith in God. While this was going on though, the brain tumor was growing and it uh, ended up becoming obvious that treatment was necessary. Uh, they ended up deciding that I needed brain surgery at the age of 16. During this time, I just was completely surrendering my life to Jesus every day, just telling Him that my life was His and his, I wanted His will to be done and for Him to be glorified. Before all this happened, it was so easy to just say, here's my life, Jesus, take, uh, take it, use it for you. But now that something, now that there was potential for him to seriously, possibly take something away, it made me take things a lot more seriously. I still remember the day of my brain surgery sitting in the waiting room. I was just filled with such an incredible peace that doesn't make sense from an earthly perspective. And even though this surgery had the potential to cause some serious damage and even end my life, I was able to walk into that waiting room with a smile on my face because I knew that God was in control. God did decide to keep me here on this earth and the only side effect after the surgery originally was some nerve damage to my eye that caused permanent double vision. However, about three months later, I had a stroke and two years following the surgery, I was in a car accident that left me bedridden for seven months and left me with um, chronic neck and back pain. Sometimes it was hard for me to understand why these things had happened, and at times it was hard not to be angry with the woman who had caused the accident due to her carelessness. Through all the suffering, I was able to have hope because God poured out His love for me when He died on the cross for my sins. And because of my faith in His perfect life, death, and resurrection, I had the Holy Spirit living inside of me. This meant I was never alone. I did not walk through any of these trials alone. God did not abandon me or forsake me. He was right there carrying me through. I've witnessed this even more so in re recent years as I've been diagnosed with two autoimmune disorders that cause chronic pain and fatigue. These serve to remind me on a daily basis that I need God, that I can't do it on my own, that I need His strength. Although I don't know why I've experienced some of these difficult times in my life, God has equipped me to better serve Him through the trials and suffering that I experience. I'm able to relate with people on a whole other level. I might not ever know exactly why I've gone through some of the things that I've gone through, but I'm able to have hope because I know God has a purpose for my life and He will never leave or forsake me.